Hey guys, it's your girl Ro, and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats episode. Today, I'm going to show you all how I make my naturally dyed do-it-yourself Easter eggs. And I am using food scraps to naturally dye my eggs. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So, let's get into this dyeing of the eggs. Alright, so as you can see, I have some brown eggs here with me. I am using brown because uh, the food, the naturally food coloring will give it more of an intense color. If you use white eggs, the color of the eggs will be a bit lighter versus more deep and rich in color if you were to use the brown eggs. So I'm going to introduce to you guys what I have here with me. I have shredded red cabbage that gives you a bluish green color uh, on your eggs. I have paprika. I've never dyed eggs with paprika before, so this is my first time doing it with paprika, and I'm really anxious and excited at the same time to see what these eggs are going to look like and the color that it will give. I have turmeric, which will give me a kind of a yellowish, orangish kind of color. I have beets right here that will give me a pinkish, purplish kind of color. I also have red onion skins that would give me somewhat of a jadish kind of color. And <laughs> don't quote me on all these colorings, but yeah, it's going to look good. It's going to look all pretty and yeah, so... And I also have um, carrots, if I did not say that. I have carrots and I have vinegar right here. You will need distilled vinegar. Um, you don't need red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. You are going to need distilled white vinegar. You're also going to need measuring spoons. So that's going to be dope. So if you can hand over to my stove side, we're going to start boiling our eggs because our eggs have to be hard boiled before we start dyeing our eggs. And we are going to move over to my stove side and we're gonna to get to boiling and eggs. And we're gonna to get to dyeing and coloring and making everything look all pretty and stuff. <laughs> all right guys, and we're back and I have my water right here. It is to a boil. I have my eggs right here and I also have my spider. And I'm just gonna start adding my eggs in my boiling water. Whenever I boil eggs, I always start with boiling water first and then I add my eggs. Um, some people, they add the eggs with cold water. I like to add my eggs with boiling water. And I'm just gonna gently add those to my pot and I'm just gonna continue until all my eggs are in my pot. Go. I am going to add a little salt and some white distilled vinegar. This will prevent the eggs from cracking uh, once the water comes to a boil and it will keep the eggshells in place. Before we move away from the stove side, as you can see, I have my water over here boiling. I only have four burners. <laughs> And uh, once my water comes to a boil and I add everything, uh, add my food scraps in to give me my color that I'm looking for, then I'll remove and add the remaining water that I need for the rest of my eggs. So um, we're going to move on over back to our prep station and we're going to get to coloring and grading and everything. Okay, we're back and I'm going to have my eggs come to a boil for five minutes and then I'll shut the flame off and have it sit in the water for an additional five minutes. And um, that will give, give me my hard boiled eggs. Um, I do not boil eggs all the way through, only because you can simply overcook an egg, and that is just how I cook my hard boiled eggs. So um, I'm gonna move quite a few of these over so we can get to grating and getting our food scraps ready for a dye. I have my cutting board, my grater, 
And I'm just going to start grating the um, carrot on the big part of the grater. You don't have to peel the carrot, you need skin and all for this. So we're going to measure our carrots. The amount of carrots I grated should give me about a cup and a quarter of carrots. I am using... I am using exact amount of carrots, a cup and a quarter. Damn, girl, you know your measurements. <laughs> exact amount. So I'm using a little bit more only because like, I want the color of my eggs to be really, really, really intense. And I'll have the way I made this. I wouldn't call this a recipe. I don't think this is a recipe. <laughs> But I'll have the way I make this in the, in the description box down below, so please do not forget to check that out. So, yeah, and when you do, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Um, share this out. Tag a friend to tag a friend. All right, so now that our carrots are all grated and it's looking really good, um, I have my beets. I'm going to use glove for this because I do not want beet juice in uh, on my hands because trust me it lasts for days so i'm just going to break one beet let's go mess up the table i'm just going to grate one beet and use that for my dye and this one beet will give me one cup of shredded beets Voila, our shredded beets are done. Okay, and we are going to measure. And this is one cup exactly. And we're going to move our shredded beets into this right here. All right guys, now that our carrots are shredded, our beets are shredded, and everything is good to go. We're going to move on over again to my stove side and we're going to get our dyes going. So follow me on over, guys. Welcome back, guys. We're at my stove side. As you can see, our waters are boiling. I uh, tell you guys all the measurements I have and the adjusted measurements. So we're going to start with the paprika in one cup of water. And we're just going to dump that in there. We're going to bring it to another boil. Let the water boil. And then we're going to shut it off. And let it sit for 15 minutes. I thought that was going to boil over for a bit. That would have been bad. Next, I'm going to go with my red onion skins. In two cups of water. And we're going to do the exact same thing. That is going to boil or come back to another boil and then we're going to shut it off and let it sit for 15 minutes. Oh wow, that looks really good. I'm going to shut this one off. Okay, mix it up a bit. Next, we're going to go with our red our shredded red cabbage in 2 cups of water. We're going to bring this to a boil, shut it off and let it sit for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna move it. And move this one too. That looks really good. I'm going to move this over so that I can stay right there. That looks really good too. My next color is going to be turmeric in one and a half cups of water. We're going to bring this to another boil and let it sit for 15 minutes. 
Next, we're going to add our shredded beef. <gasps> okay. Okay, that was bad. Do not do that part at home, guys. I'm actually holding the phone in one hand, and I use the other hand to dump. Uh, usually, I use a tripod, but do not do what I just did at home. Make sure you have a tripod or you have someone else holding the phone. So I added my shredded beads to two cups of water. And I'm going to let this come back to another boil. Shut it off. Let it sit for 15 minutes. And then we're going to move it over to our prep station. And last but not least, our shredded carrots. I'm going to bring this to another boil, shut it off, and let it sit for 15 minutes. All right, guys, now that our dye is done and it is ready to go, I am going to strain the dyes and let them sit for about 30 minutes to an hour and let them cool, and then we'll start the process of dyeing our eggs. So we'll be right back guys. I'll see you in a bit. All right guys, we're back and we're going to start straining our dyes. And we are going to start with our shredded purple cabbage first. Oh my God, look at the color. That is really nice. That is super cool. Look how beautiful that looks. That is super cool. Next, we are going to go with our red onion skins. Wow. Or beets. Our carrots. When it comes to the paprika and the turmeric, I am going to leave it the exact way it went in. Um, these were more in the powdered form, so there's really nothing to strain from it. Um, we're just going to leave it as it is. And I'm gonna bring this one closer so you can see it too. There is like nothing. It's just like all powder. Oh my God, guys, look at all these beautiful colors. So this is the paprika. This is from the red cabbage. This one is the carrots. This one's the beets. This is from the red onion skins. And this is the turmeric. This is going to be so cool. I just can't wait to finish so you guys can see what the eggs look like. So these are my hard boiled eggs. They look beautiful. So what I did was I brought them to a boil. I brought the water first to a boil and then I added my eggs to it. Brought the water with the eggs back to a boil for five minutes, remove it from the heat and let it sit for a, and let it sit for another five minutes. And then I Drain the water, let it cool, and I use paper towel to kind of slightly like clean or scrape some of the brownness off of the egg. And as you can see, this is what the egg looks like. Yep. So um, we're going to move into our dye, okay? So you're going to need... Soup containers you from the takeout. You could purchase these on Amazon. I'll put it in the description box down below where in Amazon you can get these. Um, I'll move this out the way. You can use mason jars. I have mason jars, but I rather use uh, disposable containers versus my mason jars because I could always use those for dressings or something else. And we're going to need six soup containers. This is so, so, so cool. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our paprika dye, and we're going to add 
some of her dye into our into our container. And you're going to need two teaspoons of white distilled vinegar. So that's one, that's two. And we're going to add two of our hard boiled egg into the water or the dye. And we're going to let that sit. Next, we are going to go with the red onion skins. And we're going to do the exact same thing. The only difference is the measurements for the, the white vinegar is different. You're going to need three teaspoons of vinegar. And you're going to add your eggs in. Next, we are going to go with our shredded red cabbage. And for the shredded red cabbage, you are going to need two tablespoons, not teaspoons, two tablespoons of vinegar. So that is one, and this makes two. And we're going to add our eggs in. One, two. Next is our turmeric. I have to be careful with the turmeric, guys, because if not, it will stain my countertop. For the turmeric, I'll add two teaspoons of vinegar. That's one, and that's two. And we're going to add our eggs in. Move that over. Next, we're going to go with the beets. Also have to be careful with this one. For the beets, I'll add three teaspoons of vinegar. So that's one, two, and three. And we're going to add, and we're going to add our eggs in. And last but not least, somehow the carrots always find its way to be the very last one. All right, so we're going to add our carrot dye. And this is going to be three teaspoons of white vinegar. One, two, and three. And we're going to add our eggs in. All right, guys, so this is what our eggs look like while they're soaking in our natural uh, dye. Uh, I like to add my eggs in the dye while the dye is still slightly warm. So I'm just gonna cover these and squeeze the air out. And do the exact same thing for all the eggs. All right, guys, so I'm just going to gently move the eggs around so the vinegar, the dye, the eggs can marry into each other. And I'm just going to do that for all the eggs. You can stir the vinegar in um, before you add the eggs, but I like to give it a little personal touch by a, giving it a gently stir.
So this is it for now, guys. The eggs have to sit in the dye for about three hours so the color can, you know, be right and good to go. Um, but if you want it to be deeper and nicer in color, it is best to leave it overnight. So I am going to leave these eggs overnight and we're going to come back and we're going to see what the eggs look like and go from there and just <laughs> start getting ready for Easter. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Hey guys and welcome back. It's been about 24 hours and our eggs are looking really great. They are colorful and we are ready for Easter. But before I get into the whole breakdown of the different colors that I have, I want to make a few things clear. Um, if you do the eggs, you can wait for about three hours before you take it out of the natural dye. You can wait 24 hours before you take it out of the natural dye. Or if you like, you can let the eggs sit longer in the natural dye before you take it out. The longer the eggs sit, the deeper the color is. So let's get into telling you guys which natural dye from each food scraps gave me which egg. So I'm going to start by breaking down the color of my eggs. I know I stated uh, in my video earlier that the naturally dyed red cabbage egg would have given me a bluish kind of green color, but this is the actual color it gave when it sat in the dye overnight. And I'm really pleased with the way the eggs came out. Again, so this is my egg from the red cabbage dye, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of brown in um, in color, and I'm really happy with that. Um, the next egg is from the beets. I'm not too... I like it a lot. I like the little specks it gave, but I'm really surprised that the beets didn't come out as dark as the red cabbage did, but that's fine. We're going to... Fix it up a bit and let the eggs look even more appealing. This one is one of my favorite eggs. Um, this one is from the Red Onion Skins. The color of this one is kind of jadish like, uh, maybe a little purplish. My next egg is the ones from the carrot. I know it doesn't look much like anything, but this one's nice too. <laughs> and this one. This is really, really nice. This one is really, really nice. This one is from the the paprika. I've never dyed eggs with paprika, so I am really surprised that this one came out really nice. That one is more of like an orangish kind of reddish tintish color. And um, this one is the turmeric. This one is nice. This one is really nice. So as you all know, I made the dyes from food scraps and I boil it, strain it, and set the hard-boiled eggs in the natural dye. And I had it set for 24 hours. After the 24 hours, I removed the eggs. You can use a spoon to remove the eggs, or you can remove it with your fingers. I used my fingers to remove all the eggs from the dye, because I noticed when I used a spoon, it kind of left like little like little marks in it that I didn't like. So I just completely used my fingers and I was fine with that. And then after I removed all my eggs, I placed them on my Old Reliable, my sheet tray with my baker's rack and parchment paper. So they sat for about two hours until they dried completely. Here you are going to need coconut oil. You can use olive oil, you can use blended oil, you could use anything of the sort to polish your eggs but for this video I am going to use coconut oil because coconut oil is colorless and it won't be too harsh on the eggs so that's the reason why I chose coconut oil so I'm going to get into polishing my eggs and I'll show you guys how I do that so you're going to need paper towel or a kitchen towel that you don't really use to polish your eggs so I'm just going to dip my paper towel in my coconut oil and I'm going to use it to polish my eggs. You don't want to rub it too too hard, you can just uh, slightly touch the eggs with it. And I put that back, dip again.
All right, guys, now that our eggs are all polished, they look really, really, really good, and I'm super excited. I just can't wait to get this out to you all. I want to make um, another thing clear, is that when you take the eggs out to dry, um, the dye hardens on the egg, but it is still a little bit sensitive. So when you add your mineral oil, your coconut oil, or your blended or olive oil onto your eggs, you want to slightly roll the eggs in it or you want to dab the, the oil onto the eggs because if you wipe the eggs, if you were to take the kitchen towel or the paper towel to wipe the eggs, it will slightly remove the coating of the natural dye and you don't want that. So these are my eggs. I am super excited. <laughs> I am super, super excited. Look at these. These are so beautiful. These are absolutely amazing. Happy Easter, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always being here. Thank you for supporting. I love you guys. I love you all so, so, so much. And I did this video just in time for Easter. And if you guys want, you can check the recipe. I'm going to call it a recipe now because it's a dope recipe. <laughs> so you guys can check the recipe in the, in the description box down below to see how I made these beautiful, beautiful shaded eggs. I kid you not, you would think these eggs were laid by different animals. This is super cool and it is super dope. And I am so happy. All right, guys, now that you see what my eggs look like when they're all polished and looking good and just sexy and just sitting there looking, ugh, oh my God. We're going to move this on over and we're going to put our eggs in our Easter basket. <laughs> so cool. Let's zoom out a bit. And we're going to arrange your eggs. So we're going to start with the red onion skins eggs. And we're going to place these in our basket. Next is our beets. And we're just going to put them all over. That way all the colors are not just sitting in one spot. Uh, this one is from our carrots. And we're going to move those on over. This one is from the red cabbage. Oh my god, these look so nice. And these right here is from the turmeric. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Let's turn this one nice so you can see it. And this one is from our paprika. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna edit this part out. <laughs> So nice. Let me give you guys a much closer look. So these are my naturally dyed eggs, guys. These are my naturally dyed eggs. They look super dope. They look really amazing. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, always support my channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I can't thank you guys enough. Again, it's your girl, Roll from Uncensored Ease. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Until next time, guys, I see you guys on my next video. Bye!